Now what exactly is this trade-off? We implied from the problem of scarcity that the resources are limited in nature and the human wants or human desires are unlimited in nature. So now how do we compromise? We compromise or we trade off between two things and that is how we choose economically. A very simple example of trade-off for all the school and college going children. On Saturday, if for example a school runs on a Saturday and you are called on a Saturday to either a school or a college. Now, there would be a trade-off that you face if you want to go to the school or probably to a mall or to go, you want to go to the shopping center. So this is the trade-off. You have to make your own choice economically. Will not going to school be feasible to you? Probably in school a very important chapter or in college a very important chapter would be taught and you would miss that. So you have to make a wise choice. And if in the mall there's a lot of uh, discounts and this on Saturday this is the last day of the discount so again you face a trade-off because now you have to choose between two important things and that is how trade-off also becomes a fundamental concept in the microeconomic theory now students always get confused between two terms which are trade-off and Opportunity cost. Now, trade off is just that you are choosing between one good or another, or one situation and another. You are just choosing, and this choice of one thing over the other is basically the trade off. But then, what is opportunity cost? Now because this cost word is related in this terminology, that is why it can be said that opportunity cost would be some value, a value. Alright, now let's walk through an example to understand the concept of opportunity cost. You must all have uh, had this trade-off to choose commerce over science or science over commerce or commerce over arts or arts over science any of these three subjects in school so after you pass a 10th standard according to the merit or according to the percentage you are put in different streams now you are given a choice between choosing commerce or between uh, or science now commerce and science are two streams which can do wonders in their respective areas now you are given this choice that you can choose commerce and commerce if you choose commerce then uh, you probably would do uh, a pcom or an mcom or a bms and probably then you'll do mba and you will have 3 lakhs package per annum and life would be of course smooth but if you like science and if you are inclined towards science then science would um, you know you'll have to go through engineering or probably any kind of engineering civil or mechanical or software developer and you would become something in the science stream and you would maybe avail a package of 4 lakhs per annum at the very starting and this is of course the hypothetical examples uh, all right now the choice is always yours because if you are not inclined towards science and even if science accrues you earns you 4 lakhs per month in the starting still you would not be inclined to it anyway you would choose rather commerce over science so choosing commerce over science would be a trade off that you faced choosing but the value in monetary terms or basically in unit unit terms the value that you sacrificed by sacrificing one choice to choose something else would be the opportunity cost 
you had the opportunity to choose science you had the opportunity to earn 4 lakh per month but you chose commerce over science and that is why the cost that you incurred while losing this opportunity while sacrificing this alternative is the opportunity cost so trade off will always be related to the choice that you make and opportunity cost will be some value that uh, which basically was incurred to you because you sacrificed something to get another alternative which was another the best the second best alternative so i think this part between uh, the difference between trade off and opportunity cost is a little clear to you another uh, two concepts that i would like to mention over here is need and want because when we study microeconomics further we'll study the law of demand and the de the word demand is quite popular amongst youngsters and we use demand very synonymously so we need to know the correct meaning of this word but before that we should know all other meanings which are used synonymously to demand also so firstly we are concerned with need now what does this need represents need is the basic the basic necessity that we as humans need to fulfill a hypothetical or just an example if i say food shelter clothing these are the common basic needs and that is why need would only fulfill the basic necessity of the human kind now we turn to the wants what is want so uh, let me write this down first we have now we know that what is need need is something that you must have it's like a necessity yeah for example food water clothing and all whatever is basic to the human kind then there is something known as want what is want want as we uh, learned in the problem of scarcity the unlimited wants these are the desires the desire now if you earn 25000 or 30000 per month and you need to purchase a house or a huge car or luxury building or luxury penthouse then of course this is a want this is a desire this is not a need you already have a home you already have a small car or bike the want is something luxurious something that you desire for and probably which is a little uh, beyond your affordability limit sometimes so this is something that you desire these two words are different and that is why these two words should not be used synonymously and of course then we have the word demand so what exactly would be then demand demand will be something that first of all you're willing to purchase you're willing to purchase and second of all it's affordable which means you are able to purchase so something that you're willing to and able to purchase would be the demand for that particular commodity only then the demand will occur in the market economy when people are willing as well as able willingness which means that they desire for it and able means the commodity is affordable to them 
when these two concepts are uh, merged, then only we create this term that is demand and we say that uh, this particular product has this particular demand in the economy because people are willing and able to purchase it. So now we learned five things. First one was scarcity, the problem of scarcity which means limited resources and unlimited wants. Then we learned the choices. The problem of choices has two things, trade-off and opportunity cost. We learned the concept uh, in detail of trade-off as well as of opportunity cost. Then we uh, learned these three concepts which is need, want and demand. We will always have these kind of concepts coming up. Various other terms and concepts are also there. So keep watching our channel Ecoholics. Stay tuned to our channel for more updates. Subscribe, like, share our videos. I hope you watch our videos. If you have any suggestions for or any recommendations for us, uh, which means if you want any subject that we need to add or any topic that you want to learn, please update that in the comment section below and cheer up. Economics is made really easy and free. Bye-bye.